Yeah. Thanks for joining us at 11. We begin with breaking news here on Fox 9 Local and Fox 9 Morning News at 11. Breaking news, a judge has ordered a man convicted in a 2004 Minneapolis murder to be released from prison, exonerating Marvin Haynes. We have team coverage of the big decision. Our Bill Keller is live outside of the state prison in Stillwater, where Haynes was just released. And we start with Paul Bloom. He joins us live from Minneapolis with the latest on the decision and what comes next. Paul, good morning. Good morning to you, Tom. Absolutely stunning developments this morning to see Marvin Haynes uh, once convicted as a teenager, first degree murder, serving a life sentence, 18 years into that life sentence today. His hopes, his dreams, his prayers were answered. He walked out of that prison just moments ago. Now, what's important about this decision, I have to stress it strongly here, is not only did a Hennepin County District Court judge sign off on this decision to talk out Marvin Haynes's first degree murder conviction, but the Hennepin County Attorney's Office signed off on this agreement. This was a joint agreement between the prosecution as well as uh, attorneys for Marvin Haynes at the Great North Innocence Project, and in the end, Judge William Cook signing the paperwork. And what is so startling about the Hennepin County Attorney's Office signing off on it is to think a prior generation ago it was this office that prosecuted the case under then Hennepin County Attorney Amy Klobuchar. Today, Mary Moriarty writing in a statement to Fox 9 that a terrible injustice was done to Marvin Haynes. Why are you here today, nearly two decades later, still fighting your case? Because I'm innocent, 100 percent. And this is Haynes in Judge Cook's courtroom late last month, maintaining his innocence, again serving a life sentence for the 2004 Minneapolis flower shop murder. He insists all along he did not commit it. He and his family have felt for decades that no one would listen. Well, today, Judge Cook signing off on the paperwork. Again, the Hennepin County Attorney's Office agreeing to the move, believing Haynes' constitutional rights to a fair trial were stepped on and violated all those years ago. The county attorney's team pointing out there was no forensic evidence at this murder. Murder scene. No DNA, no video of Marvin Haynes in that flower shop, and no murder weapon was ever recovered. Only questionable eyewitness testimony and shoddy investigative police work on the use of lineups at the time. Even with all of that, though, one friend of victim, Randy Shear, who sat in on the entirety of that original trial, told me over the phone today he is still convinced Haynes pulled the trigger. When I was in the trial, he, everything he said was lying. You could tell it, you could look on his face, listen to his words, go through the testimony, go through what he said, go through what the witness said. The only person this man, this person is getting out is because the people that testified him are now deceased. Otherwise, he'd still be there. He wouldn't even attempt to get out. And clearly that gentleman now very much in the minority. I mentioned Marvin Haynes' his family. His sister Marvina Haynes has been a strong advocate fighting for his release. We know some of the sisters were at the prison as he walked out. And then these final words from Mary Moriarty today. Again, the Hennepin County Attorney's Office signing off on this conviction being vacated. Quote, doing the right thing sometimes means we must seek to undo the harms of the past, not defend them. And that is what we have tried to do today. It is not easy to admit and correct our wrongs, but it is necessary. This office has now apologized to Marvin Haynes. All of these parties, Haynes just leaving Stillwater, the Hennepin County Attorney's Office, the Great North Innocence Project, everybody gathering here at noon for a joint news conference to talk about it. What must be going through Marvin Haynes' mind now? 18 years in prison today. A free man, Tom. Haynes' release from prison is the end of almost a two-decade de odyssey of him fighting to prove his innocence. Our Bill Keller is live. He's outside of the prison in Stillwater, where Haynes walked out a free man just a short time ago. Uh, Bill, you spoke with his family. Tell us uh, what they're saying, how they're feeling. Well, they're feeling overjoyed right now, as you can imagine. In fact, uh, Marvin is still here. Kind of hard to get a little look at him. They're uh, trying to get him out of here safely. He is a very excited man who says he wants to see his mother. It's the first thing he's going to do. In fact, take a look at this video from just moments ago as Marvin Haynes emerged from the Minnesota Correctional Facility at Stillwater to the sound of uh, cheers, clapping. And uh, before Marvin, of course, walked out a free man, he spent nearly two 
two decades behind bars. But before he was released, uh, his family has been out here waiting in the cold for what has probably felt like an eternity, at least about two hours. Uh, we caught up with one of his sisters after she arrived here at Stillwater. Oh. Happy, happy. It's been 19 years, and my brother was wrongly convicted. This is the best day of my life right now. When did you find out? Um, a couple of days ago. Your reaction? I'm happy. No, we're, uh, I thank the Lord. Anderson Project people is my hero. What's, what's, what's the first thing you're going to do when you walk when he walks out here? <laughs> Run to him. <laughs> Yeah, they were singing Christmas carols. There was a live stream going on. Still a lot of excitement, a lot of folks who are still showing up. In fact, that the silver truck just showed up uh, as he was trying to get uh, a picture of Marvin, who is now a free man for the first time after nearly 20 years. Again, they're just trying to get out of the parking lot. That'll be the hardest thing I think he has to do all day today. Uh, he's in this black Chevrolet little SUV uh, on his way to go visit his mother uh, after being released from prison after nearly two decades. Back to you. All right, Bill Keller live there in Stillwater. Thank you, Bill. And again